The CCC Bridge State Forest Campground is located in Fife Lake, just to the east of Kalkaska. As you approach the campground, you have a CCC Bridge State Forest Campground sign, and you will notice in the summertime several ORV trails intersect along the main road. Here, there are 31 campsites available at a cost of $20 a night. There is a posting at the pay station letting visitors know that recently there was a treatment of arsenic to kill off an invasive species plant. And as you scroll across the rest of the billboard, you have your typical campground information along with the posting letting you know that it is $20 a night to stay here. The campground has outhouses, and hand pump water, and the campground itself sits in a beautiful red pine stand. The red pines actually are where the campground gets its name because they were planted by the CCC, or Civilian Conservation Group, that was put into act April 5, 1933 by President Roosevelt. The project was intended to help during the Great Depression employ hundreds of thousands of civilians by doing conservation projects and part of those conservation projects were planting the red pine stands that we see here. The sites in this campground are fairly decent sized sites and there are plenty of them with plenty of space in between each site so you should not have any issues with neighbors. There is a small walkway that goes down to the river intended for paddlers to take their canoes and kayaks out of the water or for fishermen to hop in with their waders and do some fly fishing. I'll continue to pan through some of the loops. There are several loops through this campground that take you to different campsites and these loops help space the sites out. There were actually a few people camping here and some of them were so far apart that you could not see their campsites. Here we're going to go through sites 1 through 7. I'll walk up into this site where I'm actually parked at, take a look. Each one of the campsites has a fire ring and a picnic table. The area is well mowed and well maintained. The sites are not paved and have no paved pads, so you will have no problem using a tent, but it's perfectly accessible with a small trailer or pop-up camper. Here is site number four, another nice open site. I would definitely consider staying here at this campground as there's just so much space for you to get up in this area and not have to worry about other campers being like right on top of you. Some of the sites have a water view of the river. We'll walk up to this one here, take a look around. This site actually has another stairway that goes down to the water. There's no platform here, but there is water access. The river's not very fast moving at this location, however. It is a popular area for paddlers and rafters. Few regulations posted for fishing here. And then I will pan over and show you a couple more sites. You can see there's another one way off in the background. And here's the loop and the nice red pine stand that the entire campground is surrounded by.